Wrote an article. Um, did the Browns find a key contributor in a former top 10 dra draft choice? Um, and, and you're referring to Devin Bush. Take us through that article and, and kind of what you, what you found in that one. Well, you know, Andrew Barry likes to take and, and kind of reclamation projects. The first year he was here, he signed Carl Joseph, a safety who was a former number one pick with the Raiders. And, you know, he continually seems to bring in guys like Maurice Hurst, different guys that, that he evaluated highly coming out of the draft. And I think this is a guy – um, Devin Bush was a top 10 pick. The Steelers traded from 20 all the way up to 10 to get Bush. As a rookie linebacker, he finished third in rookie of the year voting with the Steelers. And then in the second year, he tore his ACL. And he really hasn't been the player since. He The, the Steelers didn't pick up his fifth year option. So he went to the Seahawks as a free agent last year, started a couple games, played a little bit, but then again, it was a one-year deal, so the Browns signed him on a one-year. It's a prove-it deal, probably special teams, but my point was, if this guy can maybe now, it takes a little time for people to recover with their, those knee injuries, and he now, you know, has afforded a couple years, so maybe lightning in a bottle, maybe they could get something like they got with Maurice Hurst or or some of the guys that that they have taken a flyer on. And if not, you know, they don't have a whole lot invested in him one year. I think it's maybe veteran minimum. So if you could get a top 10, you know, potential rookie of the year candidate and get him back to some semblance, that's one area that the Browns are thin at least on paper, at linebacker. You have JOK and Jordan Hicks, but then you have Tony Fields, Mohamed Diabete from last year. You drafted Bookie Watson, and you have Devin Bush. So Bush and Hicks are the replacements for Sion Taki Taki and Anthony Walker. So taking a flyer there, and uh, they put him up to the podium to talk to the media. So that tells they they didn't put a lot of people up there, so that tells me they have high hopes for him and what they've seen in the off season. 